Hey, what's up my fellow Twisters? Welcome back to another episode of our Let's Build series where we are creating a redstone base on the surface of Mars. Take a look at this guys, this is so cool and you guys have given me a lot of ideas to make this map even more epic. Now before we get started, I do want to thank you all for showing this series so much support. I am super motivated to make this one of the best Let's Build series as ever because of the amount of support you guys have been showing me and I just want to take one second to you just tell you that I appreciate it because it means a lot to me. I mean views is one thing but seeing all of your comments it means like so much and I will try to work as hard as I can to make these videos even better and if you guys are uh, listening to this I would love to see if you guys can go down to the comment section and type in hashtag team twist to remind everyone that we are a channel together and you guys make me who I am and it's just I just really appreciate it basically guys and if you're down there uh, please drop a like on while you're at it let's aim for a thousand likes I mean we've done it before and um, you know you guys have just been awesome with that but anyways let's go ahead and get started with today's video the first request I did have and the most popular request on the last video was for me to turn off shaders so that's going to be the first thing I'm going to do I've seen that comment a lot and I'm listening to you guys I'm not gonna have shaders anymore unless we're on the outside of the dome so yeah that's basically that the second um, request you guys had was me to not uh, shake my camera like this I know when I'm pointing to things I usually shake the screen and I'm not gonna do that anymore at least I'll try not to do it but yeah okay guys so today we are going to be adding in some really cool things to the map the first thing is going to be um, the detailing for the outside of our main house we're going to hollow out the island over here and basically make like an area for underground ground base as well as we're going to add in a redstone potato farm very similar to the one in the Martian movie we're going to add in a path to our enchanted or secret force or whatever and then add in a bridge and do a lot of cool things so definitely stick around for that the first thing I do want to point out is that offline I did add in our four different bridges that are all basically completed now and I will um you know add in some redstone to it in the future where it all links up to the main house now I don't really know how to like link it on this end as well as this end because of course the island doesn't even reach that far as well as it's like on the back of the house so it's a bit weird but I'll try to figure out that in the future but for now I'm going to try to figure out what we could do on the outside so guys I know I did a pretty long intro but I do want to read this one comment because I think it's a pretty cool idea now this guy dead mix 05 said to make an elevator going very deep underground and underground will have like gates and stuff for security purposes leading to the private stuff that you have down there like an alien experimentation area crop splicing animal cross breathing and a secret emergency exit also a purge button that will blow up the base in case it's compromised so I thought that was a super neat idea that is unique to this map and I am looking forward to building that guys that's the whole idea behind this and that was a really good idea and I'm going to use that as well as a bunch of other ideas for this series so I just thank um, that one commenter and I appreciate it dude you're so freaking cool so the first thing we're going to build is a hidden input for our secret staircase that we built at the end of the last episode. As you can see, I recentered it at the center of our hallway. And let's just go ahead and take a look at how this works. We basically flick that lever and our staircase opens up. We can then go down into our underground base. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So I'm going to build my hidden input system right on this block over here. So basically what's going to happen is that every time I drop down a block over here, our staircase is going to open. I'll show you guys how to to make this basically I'm going to dig down one two three four blocks place on a chest at the bottom then shift and right click with a hopper to place that on top place on a rail by shift and right clicking it again on top of that hopper and then place down a minecart with a hopper on top of that rail and basically what happens here is that when you drop any block onto that block over here it will get sucked down by our minecart hopper go into our hopper then into our chest and there is our block of iron and now what we're going to do is basically grab ourselves a red some comparator and grab a signal from this hopper right over here and then wrap that signal around using a redstone repeater and basically send this into a T flip flop and then allow that to open up our redstone staircase now we can add in like a passcode thing where it only accepts certain items but just to keep it simple I'm going to make it where any 
items are acceptable. All right, so let's just go ahead and finish this up. Basically, what I want to do is uh, destroy a block over here, place on a sticky piston facing up, a block on top of that, a redstone repeater coming out of that, and then this is going to go into another sticky piston facing this way with a block on the face of that, and then destroy some blocks over here, destroy a block in the ground like that, place down a redstone torch inside of this hole. Basically, when this block goes over it, it will get powered, place down a redstone repeater coming out of that area just like that, and then place down um, some redstone leading down into our input. So you want to place down a redstone repeater over here so it does not connect to these blocks, and then, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. So now, let's go ahead and just fill up these areas using some of our uh, Pudzula and blocks and whatever, and now test this out. And you want to make sure that there is a space above this sticky piston, that way this block could actually go up. Alright, so now let's go ahead and just test this out. What we need to do is just drop down a block on top of this hopper, or minecart hopper, without moving it. Alright, so let's just place that down yet again, and then drop down our Pudzul, and bam! There we go, and our staircase should close. So there we go, guys, that is basically our hidden input. Yet again, no one can really see this, and you would just drop it down right at the center of that block, and it works like a charm. Alright, so now I'm just gonna cover up the area, and possibly cover up the outside as well, and then we could get started with decorating the outside of our house. So I added in just enough terrain to cover up the redstone for a contraption, but of course I will have to extend it a bit more in the future, as you can see, our bridges aren't even close to being connected. Now what we're going to do is add in a patch of land down here and also create our potato farm and then maybe a tunnel onto the bottom section of our house. So I added in a tunnel at the bottom of our base. This is not going to be the experimental area, so I would need your suggestions on what to add down here. Now I do recommend suggesting something redstone related since we have not been doing a lot of redstone stuff lately in these builds. So I definitely want to get some of that as well as on this side We do have our redstone staircase and my whole idea is to just have a hallway leading from our staircase Down into our secondary secondary base area and then in our base area We're going to have a elevator that's going to go deep down into the ground and that will basically lead to all of our experimental stuff. All right, so now let's just go ahead and build our potato farm. We're going to do it right over here. And to start off, we need to build seven blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Build two blocks like this, two blocks like that. And then build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two blocks like this, two blocks like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then uh, two more blocks like this, and two more just like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then two right over there, and then it should be um, two right over there. So there we go, we now have like a circle that is sort of like a circle, I don't know, it looks a bit weird for me, but I guess we could just add in a doorway somewhere on this side. That way it doesn't look that bad, but uh, yeah, that's basically going to be a potato farm. You're going to make the entire floor out of pistons, that way we could just, with the flick of a lever, break all of the potatoes and then replant it or whatever, so... Also, we do need to find a middle and then add in a, a contraption in the middle since the actual potato farm from the Martian movie had something like that. So I'm just going to go ahead and map out the areas and I'll come back and I'll show you guys how to do it. So of course you guys need to find the center. It's pretty simple to do. Once you have that, you want to go ahead and grab some iron bars, place it in a line just like this. I'm going to build it, say, one, two, three, four, five blocks tall and then place down glass panes on the end of each of these. They should connect up together. Which which is pretty cool and yeah that is uh, pretty much it that's what I'm going to add into the middle I know it's not really like a fabulous contraption but it's still pretty cool nonetheless and it looks pretty similar to the version in the actual picture all right so now let's just go ahead and finish that up we're going to add in a roof and it will look better in the future the roof is going to be made out of glass but at the moment we need to go ahead and grab ourselves a hoe and then hoe the grass but actually first we need to make a layer of pistons under each one of these grass blocks at the bottom. So there is water down here, so I will be, um, you know, taking some time to replace the water and then adding in our pistons. So I'll be right back because that will take quite some time. 
All right, guys, so here is a treat for you. Now, I'm not gonna actually do this system on this episode. I'll do it offline because it will take a super long time. But basically, if I want to add in that piston system over here to like destroy everything with one click, it would take a lot of redstone to make this six by six area move. And I'll show you guys right over here. I basically only have two of them completed at the moment. Basically, when I flick this lever, as you can see, our pistons will extend and they will also return tracked of course when you extend this with a t flip-flop it would work very well but basically what you have to do is just place down a row of our redstone torches at the bottom and then invert them and then if you're doing the second row you have to invert them twice and then you have to basically dig down two more layers and then um, basically you know add a signal into that so it's going to be like a super long process and i'll need to do that four different times but that's basically how to build it and if you guys want to do that you could you know do it on your own I would not be doing that in this episode because yet again it would take forever to do six different layers because it'll go six times down into the ground but I showed you guys how to do two of them yet again you could do that on your own now we're going to go ahead and now uh, basically till the ground and add in all of our potatoes and of course we do need to add in the water source right in the middle so I'm not sure how we're going to um, you know make this entire system work by adding in water along these blocks, but we'll definitely do that and hopefully it doesn't mess up if you guys are doing that with the piston system. But yeah, let's just go ahead and destroy the blocks in the middle, grab ourselves a bucket of water, and um, yeah, just let's place it down right over here and just teal the rest of the ground. After I do that, I'll be right back and I'll show you guys how it looks. All right, so there we go. I planted a bunch of potatoes and it looks uh, pretty good so far. What I'm gonna do is basically cover up the water using some slabs, then maybe add on a doorway, build up the structure a bit and then we can get started with making the roof and all of those cool things. All right, here we go. I built up the walls and I made a doorway on this side. I'm going to make a doorway on each side of our potato farm. That way it looks a bit better. So let's just go ahead and knock these blocks off. But anyways, in the middle, as you guys can see, I added in some stone slabs and at the bottom or in the middle at the bottom, I added in two blue stained glass. And then at the very bottom of that, I added in a hay bale facing sideways. And that's basically um, you know what that is so if you guys want to build it exactly like me that is pretty much it all right so here we go we now have our doorways cut out what I'm gonna do is now build up our roof out of our glass and then we could uh, you know make it look a bit good so what we need to do is just make it circular as we go up so basically we just need to build out a layer up to um, the left or into the middle and then one up like that and then slowly progress higher and higher till we get to the very top so I'm gonna just uh, speed up the video over here as I do this, that way you guys can see it happening um, in a bit, you know, faster way. Okay, so there we go. I built up the glass at the top of the building. Now what I'm going to do to add in a bit of character to it is just destroy a line in the middle of each side and add in some quartz. So basically, I just do it like this. Very simple. And it just adds in, yet again, a bit of character that, um, you know, that way it doesn't look so bad. Because I know at the moment it doesn't really look that great. But yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. Now I'm just going to do it on either end. So let's just go ahead and do that. All right, so that looks a tiny bit better. Now let's go ahead and decorate the outside. Let's see what we could do here. Maybe build up a doorway that is surrounded by iron blocks. That might possibly look good just like that. Hmm, I don't know. Okay, let's see where this goes. Maybe bring it down on that side and copy it on all of the other sides as well. So the doorways don't look that bad, but let's help it out by adding in some slabs to these areas. And you don't want to add in staircases because, of course, they look weird from this angle. So what you want to do is just grab yourselves some cord slabs and place it just like that. So the top of the structure looks a bit more smooth. And then we could get working with the outside, possibly add in some color. That way our buildings don't look so bland. All right, so here we are almost at the end. Let's just place down a couple more slabs. There we go. And what I'm going to do on the outside is just circle around it using some of our oak leaves as well as add in some glowstone at the bottom that way we have some lighting going on now I'm not going to use our um, redstone lamps because I don't know how much redstone 
will be needed for this area so we might not even be able to keep those lights so at the moment i'm just going to go ahead and um, just dig down in the ground place down some of our glowstone just like that and cover it up using some oak leaves and i think i will not connect it up like uh, this i'll just do it like that and see how it looks all right so let's just go ahead and replace all of this with glowstone there we go all right so that is not bad it is definitely coming together i mean what else can we add into this to make it look better so i think i found out a way to make this look a bit less plain only slightly because it is using chiseled quartz and my idea was just to make a pattern just like this very simple you can just go around the entire structure adding in this pattern of course you maybe want to do it from the inside that way you could get the blocks all the way at the bottom but i'm gonna go ahead and do that and replace it see how it looks and i'll show you guys how it is and there we go it looks a lot better i mean take a look at this from the inside all right we did it okay so next what i want to do is extend this pillar all the way to the top and to do this i want to place on a sea lantern right at the middle and then grab ourselves some iron bars just build it up just like that and grab ourselves some glass panes place it on each side that way it's like you know sticking out just like that and there we go just place on a couple over here and then the last ones over there and that is pretty much our center of our potato farm now what i want to do is just come over here and grab ourselves some quartz and just build out this area using quartz and yeah, that is uh, pretty much our potato farm. Of course, there's no redstone in it just yet, but you do have to add in that system that I showed you guys a bit earlier. So I think that's going to be our potato farm. I did take a lot longer to build that than I imagined. So that's basically going to be the chunk of the video. Now what I'm going to do is just show you guys some of the lighting systems that I added in offline and then build a bridge on this side maybe and add in a path in our forest and then I will end it off. All right, so basically what I did was added in this switch over here which is basically going to allow us to turn on all of the lighting for the bridge and this is basically how it's going to work for all of the different bridges as well as in the middle I did plan on having like an underground tunnel where I can manually shut off the lights if I so choose so basically how this works is that if we come around here and go down to the bottom we have a button that basically activates this bit of redstone that goes down into a T flip flop and of course the T flip flop acts like a lever which then turns on all of the redstone in the bridge and you guys know how the redstone works from the previous episodes all right so now what i'm gonna do is basically clear a path in the forest and then add in maybe like a gravel road or something like that and um, maybe just uh, create ourselves a bridge on this side so that's going to be a bit confusing and complicated since there's like trees surrounding the area but i'll try to make it work so here's our path in the forest it is uh not that bad it's made out of gravel but now we have to create our bridge now i haven't actually created a bridge before and to do this i laid out a few pillars and i'm going to show you guys how to do this basically at the first pillar i'm going to build up one two three four blocks and then one two three blocks away diagonal to it i place down another area so one two three four grab ourselves some birch wood slabs place down one two three four or just three at the top section of the second log block do the same thing on the other side upside down slab at the second log one two three then place down a regular boat birch wood plank in the middle just like that then continue it one two three on either ends one two three so it's an x just like that one two three four one two three four and that's basically how i did that yet again upside down slab three out on either end with a regular block in the middle then basically one two three again one two three grab ourselves our oak wood one two three four one two three four and now i'm going to go ahead and figure out a pattern for the middle and then i'll be right back and i'll show you guys what i did all right i figured out a pattern to fill in the bridge and that's basically just going to be oak wood stairs and then a sideways oak wood and then place down another oak wood stairs just like that so i basically copied that pattern on the inside now i'm going to go ahead and copy it on the outer ends and you guys can go ahead and do that but it might be tricky considering the um you know half square we have over here which is basically a triangle so yeah i'll try to figure that out and i'll be right back and i'll show you guys how it looks all right guys so that is basically going to be our bridge as you can see the pattern is pretty complicated and just because of that i'm going to include the first map download in the description of this video so 
just go ahead and uh, download the map and follow along with me in the future episodes. One thing I do want to mention is that the point over here does have the logs uh, basically facing up, then in a pattern just like that. And in the middle, I extended it one block up with our slabs at the top. And um, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm extremely tired. It's been about two hours into the recording. If you guys enjoyed it, yet again, please take one second to drop me a like or a comment down below. I really appreciate it. Let's aim for over 1,000 likes as well as uh, your comments are extremely important because they help motivate me as well as they are part of the series itself. But anyways, guys, this was Twist, and I'll see you all later. Later.